In this video, we're going to take a look at some special cases that could come up in a rare, yet possible, situation as solving these absolute value inequalities. As we solve, we must be very aware of what is happening to be sure the problem is making sense. In this case, we have 12 plus 4 times the absolute value of 6x minus 1 is less than 4. We know to begin solving, we must first get the absolute value alone. We can't combine 12 and 4 because they're not like terms, so we'll subtract 12 from both sides of the inequality. This gives us 4 times the absolute value of 6x minus 1 is less than negative 8. Finally, to get the absolute value alone, we'll divide both sides by 4. As we do, we get the absolute value of 6x minus 1 is less than negative 2. A common error at this point is students will notice that the absolute value is less than a number and set up a tripartite inequality that says 6x minus 1 is between negative 2 and positive 2. However, let's look closer at what we have here. The absolute value is less than a negative number. Recall, absolute value gives us the distance from 0. Absolute value is always positive something. How often is positive something less than negative 2? A positive number cannot be less than a number. This does not make sense. Absolute value cannot be less than a negative number. For this reason, we say there is no solution. Or in interval notation, we use a circle with a slash through it, representing the empty set, or nothing works to make this inequality a true statement. No matter what we use for x, we will always get a false statement in this inequality, because the absolute value will never be less than a negative. Let's look at another problem. 5 minus 6 times the absolute value of x plus 7 is less than or equal to 17. We know to start solving, we must start getting the absolute value alone by subtracting 5 from both sides. This gives us negative 6 times the absolute value of x plus 7 is less than or equal to 12. Finally, to get the absolute value alone, we divide both sides by negative 6. This gives us the absolute value of x plus 7 is greater than or equal to, because we flip the inequality when dividing by a negative, negative 2. A common error students make at this point is because we have the absolute value is greater than a number, they set up an OR statement, x plus 7 is greater than 2 and less than negative 2. However, or less than negative 2, sorry. However, this would be a mistake. Notice what we have. Absolute value, the distance from 0 is always positive something. How often are positive numbers greater than negative 2? Always. This statement is always true. Because the absolute value is always greater than a negative number, this inequality that we started with at the beginning is always true as well. We say the solution is all real numbers. Or if you would like to use the notation for all real numbers, a fat capital R, or an interval notation from negative infinity to infinity. Be careful of these special cases when you're solving absolute value inequalities. If you end up with an absolute value greater than or less than a negative number, take a moment to look at it and ask if it's possible, always or never.